Here is another electricity question. So the first question says, determine the current flowing through the eight ohm resistor. So we obviously need to use I equals to V over R for this little resistor. But we don't know what the current in the main part of the circuit is. So we quickly need to go work that out. And that'll be easy to do because we've got the EMF, we've got the internal resistance, and we've got all the external resistors. So we can just use the EMF formula where the only unknown would be the current. But we first need to go calculate the external resistors. So remember that these two are in parallel. So we calculate them using the parallel formula. So that's one over R1 plus one over R2. And so one over R parallel is equal to one over five plus one over 10. And then you add these two numbers together on your calculator. And that's gonna be three over 10. And then you can just flip it upside down. And so that will be 10 over three. Now, I'm not going to round off just yet because that's not the final, that's not the final um, resistance value. So I'm just going to say 10 over 3 ohms for now. And then, okay, so now we can get the total resistance as, so your R value is just going to be 8 plus 10 over 3, and that's 34 over 3. And so now we can go use that formula. So the EMF is 20, the current we don't know. External resistance is 34 over three. See, I'm just using the fractions because I don't want to write all the decimals and I don't want to round off just yet, plus R, which is one. And so to get I alone, we can just say 20 divided by 34 over three plus one. And so you should find that the current is going to be 1.62. Now we can round off 1.62 amps. And so that 1.62 amps is the current flowing in the main part of the circuit. So that would be all of this over here, up to there and there. Because in this part over here, we know that the current, let's get a different color there. The current splits and some of it goes this way but then it combines again to become part of the main circuit. Okay, so in our main circuit, we have 1.62 amps. Next question says, determine the potential difference. Remember that potential difference is just another word for voltage. And so it says, determine the potential difference across the five ohm resistor. So there are multiple ways that you can do this question. I'm gonna show you two methods. Right, so method number one, what you can do is we should realize that the voltage for this branch and this branch is the same. So what we do, if you like, is you just pretend that these that this is just one resistor. So we combine them using the parallel formula. And if you remember, we did that just now and we got 10 over three, okay? So we can almost imagine that this is just one resistor where the resistance is 10 over three ohms. Now, we don't know how much current is going through here and how much current is going here. However, we do know how much current is going combined because we know that there is 1.62 amps. Well, it's, there's 1.62 amps going through the main part of the circuit. And so some of it will go this way, some of it will go this way, but the total current going through this part must be 1,62. So we can then just use the formula V equals to IR for this part of the circuit because we know that the total current going through there is 1.62 and the total resistance across both of them is 10 over three. We can then multiply that all together and we get 5.4 volts. So what does that mean? That means that this part of the circuit uses 5.4 volts. So does that mean that we should divide the answer by two for this one and for this one? No, not at all. It means that this one over here is using 5.4 volts and this one over here is also using 5.4 volts. Right, if you don't really like that technique, then your other option is to do the following. We know that the total EMF is 20 volts. 
that is the total voltage available in the circuit. So some of that voltage will be used over here. Some of it will be used in the battery, that's called internal volts, and the leftovers would obviously be used over there. So what we could do is we could say 20 volts minus, then we could minus the internal volts, internal volts, and then we could minus the voltage across the 8 ohm. And whatever's left after that must be the leftovers for this. So to work out your internal voltage, you can just use I times small r, and then to work out the 8 ohm resistor, you would just use I multiplied by the resistance of the 8 ohm. And so that's going to be 20 minus um, 1.62 was our res uh, current times by the internal resistor minus 8 times 1. Sorry, not 1, 1.62. Let's, I don't want to confuse you guys. Let's say 1.62 times 8. And if we had to work that out, we also get, well, in this one, we get 5.42. But now, please do not panic. It's like, Kevin, here you got 5.4, and here you got 5.42. Guys, on memos, they give you option one, option two, option three. And sometimes those options have different answers. It's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to say that the answer is uh, 5.4 or 5.42. And then our last question is, determine the power used in the 8 ohm resistor. Now, power is equal to voltage multiplied by current. Uh, yeah, Kevin, but my teacher showed us that there's other formulas as well. Yes, I'm fully aware of that, but I just want to show you something. If we use the formula I equals to V over R, I want you to then take that V over R and put it in the place of I, and let's see what we get. So that's going to be P equals to v and then we're going to replace the i with v over r and that's going to give you p equals to v squared over r some of you are like oh yeah i saw that one in class okay now what i want you to do next is take this formula again but get voltage by itself so if you had to get voltage by itself it would be v equals to i times r so what i want you to want you to now do is uh take this voltage and replace it with i times r and so that's going to give you I times R times I, and that's going to give you P equals to I squared times R. And so these are the three uh, power formulas we use. In summary, it's, wait, in summary, we're going to say P equals to VI, P equals to I squared R, and then P equals to V squared over R. So it's actually just one formula, but we're using I equals to V over R and V equals IR as like a substitution and then we get the other two formulas right so you can use whichever one you like depending on the availability or whatever you have so for number three it says determine the power used in the eight ohm resistor well we know the current there that was 1.62 amps and we know the resistance so i'm just going to use this one so power is i squared times r and so that's going to be 1.62 squared multiplied by the resistance of eight and that gives you, oh, it actually rounds off quite nicely to 21 watts. Remember the unit of power is watts. And so that brings us to the end of this question. I hope it was good. Thank you very much for watching.